Hello, and welcome to our virtual trip to one of the most iconic cities in the world, New York City. In this video, we'll be exploring some of the best historical destinations that the city has to offer. First, let's start with the history of New York City. Originally inhabited by the Lenape Native Americans, the Dutch established the colony of New Amsterdam in 1626. In 1664, the English captured the city and renamed it New York. Since then, New York has become one of the most diverse and influential cities in the world. Our first stop is the iconic Statue of Liberty, which was a gift from France to the United States to commemorate the centennial of the American Declaration of Independence. The statue was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bertoldi and was completed in 1886. Standing at 305 feet tall, it is one of the most recognizable symbols of freedom and democracy in the world. Next, we'll visit the Empire State Building, which was once the tallest building in the world. Completed in 1931, it stands at 1,454 feet tall and has 102 floors. It was named after the nickname of New York, the Empire State, which was coined by George Washington in 1785. Visitors can take an elevator to the 86th floor observatory and enjoy breathtaking views of the city. Now let's head to Central Park, which is the largest park in New York City and covers over 800 acres. The park was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vox and was completed in 1873. It's a great place to relax, enjoy nature, and take a break from the busy city life. You can rent a bike or take a stroll around the park's many walking paths and scenic areas. Moving on to another historic location, we have the Brooklyn Bridge. Completed in 1883, it was the first bridge to connect Manhattan and Brooklyn. At the time, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world, measuring over 1,800 feet in length. The bridge was designed by John Roebling, who unfortunately died before its completion. His son, Washington Roebling, took over the project and oversaw its completion. Now, let's visit the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. The site is a tribute to the nearly 3,000 people who lost their lives in the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. The memorial features two reflecting pools with the names of the victims inscribed on the bronze panels surrounding them. The museum contains artifacts, photos, and personal stories of those who were affected by the attacks. It's a somber but important reminder of the resilience and strength of the people of New York City. Finally, we'll visit the Metropolitan Museum of Art, also known as the Met. Founded in 1870, the Met is one of the largest and most comprehensive art museums in the world. It houses over 2 million works of art from around the globe, ranging from ancient artifacts to modern and contemporary art. Visitors can explore the galleries and collections of the Met for hours, taking in the beauty and history of the world's art. With that we conclude our trip to New York City. We hope you enjoyed learning about the history and visiting some of the city's most iconic destinations. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned New Yorker, there's always something new and exciting to discover in this amazing city. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.